Hello all, welcome to channel 11. From long time onwards, I just wanted to develop this kind of workflows in CSS. I have seen this kind of workflows in many websites and I wanted to try myself how to do that. And today I tried and I just wanted to give that information to you all. So my intention is whatever the process completed I want to show as a green and whatever it is in progress I want to show as orange. So we can develop different ways like uh, suppose if the process completes some website will show tick mark some websites might be different approach but in my example I wanted to try with the numbers so so that user can easily understood whatever the still not started so that is in different color so whatever is in, is in gray color that process has not started so whatever is completed it's green whatever in started it's in orange and this can easily customize so i will share this code to you all after this uh, i am using visual studio code here and if i observe here so this is working on live whatever i updated here it also updated automatically um, So let me go and apply the CSS here. This is the default behavior. Uh, so I will show my HTML here. This is HTML. And let me go and maximize this first. So th these are my HTML. So order list HTML. So I just added skeleton here with CSS. So, so there is no uh, CSS has added, it's empty now. I just added skeleton. So, if you see the output, this is the output, default output. So, so let me go and up, apply the CS. Yeah, let me go and apply. So, I'm having backup here. So, let me go and apply. The main CSS that is uh, workflows. So I am just copying up and updating. So my workflow here. So now nothing has been uh, any changes since uh, there is no effect here. So let me go and add workflows and list. This is the list uh, CSS. So once I applied the list inside my CSS workflow CSS, I have applying CSS for my list. So what are you? So if you observe here, it's not reflected here. So if you see here, it became horizontal. Previous it is it was very uh, vertical. Now it's became horizontal. So the uh, for to to form like this here i will show you the important cases here display display i am uh, property i am using table and uh, for the my main uh, order list and for my list i am using table cell i think you might heard about this heard, heard about this properties in cases so it, this is the uh, just like our table so so it so by default table will come as a horizontal so that's why my order list become horizontal so the remaining properties also very much important like positional my main my order list workflow position should be relative and my list also should be relative now i applied css for let me hide this one also now apply CSS for workflows and list so it became horizontal so now let me go and apply for another 
so after so now i am applying css for after my list what should happen so let me go here this css so i will share this css to you all please uh, send a message if you need so so this is the css so this is the css so it's going to apply after my list so after my list what i'm saying is should be with this 100 percent 100 percent and uh, the content is nothing and background color is black so i'm saying after my list so it should be 100 percent black and height is 2px that's why it is showing at the line let me go and further for your information if i make it 10 so if you see here so so to form a line i have given 2px suppose the left is should be 100 percent so if you give 50 percent sorry if i give 100 percent so if you observe it's automatically repeat the changes sorry i by mistake i have closed that so here this is very much important left should be 50 percent let me change so that's why it is coming exact starting from beginning so if you observe here, here so that after five step there is no any further process steps so so let me go and uh, apply the style sheets to remove this line so here one more one more time i'm explaining here the content is important width is important left is important height also important so all these property properties are very much required please uh, uh, after the applying after using this properties please uh, customize the values whatever you want but the properties all are required so let me go and remove this line which is not an unwanted line that one that is this one let me copy sorry let me save so if you observe it my last line uh, extra line got removed by applying this one let me go on now let me let me go on apply the style sheet for uh, completed so i will come for the so completed and after so this is the css uh, will will apply for the completed uh, so, uh, so this is the let me go and apply CSS for my buttons here. Let go and apply. So, right now my buttons is uh, I think that button is uh, let me see what is that CSS I have. So, info. So, my button CSS I have, I have used info. Let me go and apply CSS for the info. I think this is the main one. Let me go and apply. Let's see that this is the if you observe here, it started coming nicely. So, here the important one is radius. So, that's why all corners are coming round. So, for, the, for your information, if you make it 30, you can verify that the rounds are coming more. So, radius is important here. If you want it come completely round, it should go for 50%. The remaining all are fine and jetted links also even important here. Otherwise, this line will come will come over to this button. So it should be one. And the position also should be relative. So the color and all same. So, so this is the default behavior. Now you wanted to go for the completed one is green and the running one is one is orange let so let me go and apply css for this let me go and apply for the completed one first so if you see css i have for the list 
so whichever uh, steps completed the for that i have given class as a completed so these three steps list are completed steps so let me go and apply css for that so here this is the one css Info. So this uh, this CSS will apply for completed as well as info. So info I wanted to be green, which one is completed button. So I applied here. So border list completed is and info info also. I wanted color is green and background color is green, border color is green and color is white. That's why this number is coming white. Transfer scale means so uh, so transfer transform how much you required so this is one let me go and apply one more CSS for uh, completed after so I think you observe here so this line also become green so to apply for that to become like that we have to apply this CSS green color. So here uh, the important is uh, the stop. So if you observe this line exactly coming middle, you, you might observe that how that is coming. So this is the, so I have given list. List after top is called 15. So this is also should be, both should be same and 50 pixels. For, the, for your information, if I make it uh, 12, if you observe here, it became up. But remaining is middle so after I have given top 15 to become middle and here also should be same so let me go on control set so it's coming middle so now I will apply for the running so this is the running so in running I am I am giving CSS saying CSS to apply the background color button and I'm giving CSS to button as well as uh, the color uh, yeah so if you see go for running so I'm applying list as well as button so both CSS I'm applying I mean I mean to say list as well as button I'm applying CSS now let me go on so now my so my uh, running means whatever in progress also i applied the css that is four i hope you understand here is so this how much very easy i can these are the css and for the for the understanding purpose let me go and complete all means i am going to say uh, all my process are completed So, so if you observe here it became completed so I will also apply my last step to complete so that process has been completed so let me go and uh, let me start uh, so uh, I mean I will try uh, let's take for example just now started the process so let me so for that what I need to do is I no need to apply any CS for remaining. So I will make my first step to running. So see, so this is the starting step. So I hope uh, I feel it's very much easy. Whoever wants to develop, and I think this most widely used for in uh, in projects. That's why I wanted to update to you all. So it's easy. So, uh, so I hope you understand. And please let me know if you need this code. I will share it to you. And please watch my and provide your feedback. Thank you. Thank you very much.